Hey, I'm not so a strainer and house crime in the Sino region. Let's get into it. Welcome to the fourth episode of Crime in the Pokemon World, where we'll be going through the Sino region and Team Galactic. If you missed out on the last episodes, I'll leave all the links in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss out on any further content. And now, on to the video. After experimenting with the double madness in the Owen region, we go back to one single villainous organization for us to fight against. In Sino, Team Galactic are the new antagonists that will be showing up around towns, routes and caves trying to carry on with their evil plans. But before we look at their actions, let's look at their inspiration. Unlike Team Aqua and Team Magma before them who worked like a cult, Team Galactic is somewhere in between them and the way Team Rocket acted. While they seem like an organization with well-established bases that are not really secret, but actually out in the open, their motifs, or better, their leader's motifs, are really similar to what we call a Doomsday Cult. Doomsday Cults work in two ways. On one side you have those who believe that the end is near and are simply getting ready for it, and on the other side you have those who are actively trying to bring forth the end of the world, or in Cyrus's case, the end of the universe. The rebirth of everything. The most important thing to have in mind here is that no one truly knows what goes inside Cyrus's head, for we can see throughout the story that all the grunts believe that they simply have to catch all the Pokemon so they stay under Team Galactic's command, and even Cyrus's executives admit to not truly knowing the scope of their leader's plans. This is also one of the reasons why Team Galactic have such a great dynamic. While so far everyone was working towards the same goal, now we are faced with a different scenario where a leader is using all of those beneath him to pursue something else entirely. Now let us look at their actions and weigh down on the evilness and dangers they brought upon the citizens of Sinnoh, and well, the whole universe. We first have to deal with Team Galactic in Jubilife City, when they are trying to harass Professor Rowan and his assistant, trying to get them to hand out their research. So let's start with harassment. Next, we find them at Valley Windworks, trying to steal energy to use as fuel for their secret activities. That is theft right there, as it is very common with these villainous teams. After we defeat Mei Lin, we learn that two Team Galactic runs have stolen Professor Rowan's assistance's Pokedex, which adds another count of theft to the list. Our following encounters with Team Galactic are mostly because of how loud they like to talk about bombs and stuff, which can be a bit panic inducing for the towns they are in, which makes me give them an inducing panic charge. Somewhere along this journey, it is also found that they stole the plaques from the Dialga Palkia statue, which consists them of vandalism charge as well. Then is when things get interesting. What was previously thought to have been an earthquake was found out to actually be an explosion caused by Team Galactic in Lake Valor. This resulted in the complete draining of the lake and the probable death of a large number of Pokemon, given the spawn list for that location. This adds bombing to their list of crimes as well as murder of Pokemon. Now we'll use Platinum for the final parts of their actions. After the bombing comes the big moment for Cyrus, the Red Chain experiment in action harnessing the power of the literal gods of space and time starting to bend and break reality. This was so dangerous and evil that it was only stopped by the Pokemon Devil itself. Attempt to rupture the universe goes to the list. Usually this is where things end, Cyrus stayed in the distortion world and things should be over, right? Well, not really. That's because Sharon is feeling greedy and evil and is planning on forcing the people of Sinnoh to give Team Galactic money or else he will cause the eruption of Stark Mountain. What with volcanic eruptions lately? Luckily, we stop him and Looker makes the arrest, but still, that's extortion and an attempt at mass murder. Plucking it all into the evil scale, I'm giving Team Galactic a 9.5 out of 10. So far, they were the biggest madness for not only their region, but the Pokemon universe itself. From the grunts to the leaders, there were no good intentions. There was only greed and self-interest. They don't get a 10 just because I want to save space in case something worse comes along eventually. That is all for episode 4, next week we'll be looking at Unova and Team Plasma. Can they reach the level of Team Galactic? Wait and see. For now, you can follow me on social media and Twitch or join our Discord, all the links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.